Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it and check out my other YouTube videos. As you can tell by today's title, I am going to be showing you my scrapbook and showing you what I use for it and how I get the pictures for it and stuff. So, without food, do let's just get going. Um, before I show you how I scrapbook, I'm just gonna show you my scrapbook. So this scrapbook uh, is from the works. So, right, it's got pages like this. So let's just show you. Um, so this is the first page. So I insert a picture and then write what it is and stuff. I do well, put a lot of things like I've been on holiday, like my cats, sunset pictures as you can see. Um, I just put like different things in there, things I've baked, pictures I've taken. trips or trips in general day out so do like different things so you can sort of get an idea of what kind of things are put in it um, so this is should be bad. this is from work it's babies this one but because of like I don't have a uh, people I worked with permission to show photos of them on the internet um I'm not gonna show them but it's basically like picture I worked in a primary school so it's just like pictures of teachers and the children so yeah, so this is a So yeah. And then this is the latest one. So I've not done any more scrapbooking after them. So I've done quite a bit but um compared to the book, like the science of the scrapbook, I've still got that amount of pages left which is quite a lot so I'm gonna be showing you it and yes I did do the cover by myself it's out of paper so without further ado let's just quickly get into the video so I use um pens I've got and it's basically I've got a collection of pens I'll show you the which ones I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna do some scrapbooking. I print out photos from my phone and I did a video on this but I've got a mini printer right there. Um, as I said I did a video on that so go and check that out if you want to know about printing. So so I'm just going to get it out, I've plugged it in and it's a Canon one, it's 
so I wanted one for my birthday so my mum got me one because I had the like a Polaroid camera but it wasn't that great because I didn't know what I was taking pictures of and things. it wasn't my ideal thing so I got mini printers so I can print they're not as small as Polaroids but it's smaller than A4 so I'm just gonna get some pictures from the internet so I'll just show you the size of what it would look like so it would look like that size so it's not big and it's not little it's like in the middle of A4 and Polaroid size so I'll just stick that back in there so as you saw I did some collages and I used this app called In Collage for it so I'll probably do like one or two pages in this video and then do the rest of the pages off camera and then when I've finished I'll do another video on when I've done pretty much all the pages in my scrapbook so you'll have to wait a bit for that so I'll just uh, get some pictures so I've got some pictures here I dyed my hair pink it's not very pink anymore it's like wash out pink so it washes out um, so I'm just gonna go into layout if you follow my Instagram um, you'll know that I have uploaded some um, collages and it's from this app some very rare use Instagram layout um, like that one um, I'm probably gonna have that one and then let's have that and then let's have a gradient background and I'm just using uh, using my gradient like that so this is the final product final one and then press save as you would do <laughs> and then it's just saving and then an add popped up um so it's saved it saves quick and then i just press the sh share icon and then i press the canon print one and then print it I do have to connect to a Wi-Fi different Wi-Fi um, it's like Bluetooth sort of reason um, so I'm just gonna connect to that and print this off so this is a Canon app and yeah that's what I'm printing so press print so it'll print that and it's currently printing so that's good so it says it's busy which means it's going to print so it's printing now um, and whilst that's printing and just um, before I stick in the picture I'm just going to show you some pens I might be using. Oh. Um, so I might be using these. Um, these are like they're like silver metallic pens with a coloured outline. You'll see when I write with them. So I've got there. 
I've also got these metallic markers as well. I've got these. So these are probably the ones I'm going to be using today. And I also might be using bits. I don't normally use all these, but I thought I'll have a variety this video. So yeah. I've also got a big pack of like cheap version of Copix but for work as well and I'm just gonna get them. So I've got the pens, they look like this. And they were like £18.80 but they're not um like really bad. They're actually pretty good. They buy touch cool. I'll show you Wait, focus. There you are. So it looks like this. I have them quite a while now. There. So it has printed. So now I'm gonna be getting my scrapbook. Like so. I'm getting the next clean paint. I normally use tape as well and stickers. Um, but so I'll just get this camera a better view than you can see what I'm doing. So I've got this tape I'm going to be using. So I'm just getting the scissors to cut it. So this is it so far. So it looks like this. I've only really noticed these spots, but it's my printer. Sometimes it does it. Um, I think it's like to do with the ink. Can I show better so now I'm gonna be saying um, pink hair I'm gonna be using the pink of these metallic markers for this so I'm gonna say pink hair I'm thinking of doing it all in capitals before. Maybe not. <laughs> so it looks like that. And then I'm just gonna do like a hair picture of someone's hair. It's like it's not gonna be great, I'm not an artist, but
It's not great. <laughs> so this looks like this. So this is my page so far. So um now I'm gonna I think that would be fine. Don't think that needs anything else. I might do that like, pink or something. I might do gold on the edges of the cell tape. So this is the kind of thing I do to make my scrapbook pages. Um so yeah. So this is the page. Okay. So, um, I think that's done now. So I'm gonna move on to the next page. Um, I'll just insert pictures of my next page on in this video because I've already shown you one page and now I think you uh, know what how I'm gonna do the next page. So, but I'll insert pictures as I said it's for you to look at. So these are the other pages I did, hopefully you like them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it helped you on how I do my scrapbook pages. Um, I'm not saying you should do, copy me, um, like do the similar sort of thing to me, um, I'm saying like it just gives you inspo if you're thinking of starting scrapbooking or you're currently scrapbooking but you want to change your style a bit um, of course you can um, do a different style to me but that's how I do my scrapbooking um, and you can use any pens um, you have and any tape um, it doesn't have to be sort of pens I use um, so yeah I'll just tell you where each pen is from just quickly then you can get into both right. if you want to get any of the pens that I have so this is um, the works and it's three pound I can't remember the price of these, like between 10 to 15 pounds I think. And these these outline pens. So just type in outline pens, I'm sure you get something similar to that. These are from um WH Smith's, these are just these metallic colouring pencils. I have these, I'm not showing you in this video, but um, I got these from WH Smiths. Um, these are like brush lettering. I might do some calligraphy. I might practice some calligraphy and do some calligraphy um, videos in the future. Maybe. This is from the range, but I'm sure you can get them online and like art and like craft sort of shops. And they're Faber Castile and they. 20 double ended felt tip pens if you like to get it. And then I've got many more but I don't tend to use every pen I own for scrapbooking. Um also last thing, these were like 18 pound um, for 80 and they were from um Amazon or eBay. They were from one of them. I think it was from Amazon. So they're called Touch Cool Markers. I'm sure you can get them maybe 
in crafty shops maybe where they sell a good amount of markers um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it's something different um, for my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye